a boat. To French Quarter. From Port Orleans. With Josh and Taylor. With our ears are silver and gold, like that Christmas song. Silver and gold. But we will be back to Port Orleans because we're doing trivia tonight at the River Roost. Let's go do this. Have a great time at Disney Springs, guys. Oh, thank you. Bye. Bye. And it was only like I would say a five minute boat ride from Port Orleans to French yeah. Quarter. And then it goes from French Quarter to Disney Springs and then back. I just love the rooms here at the French Quarter. They're so neat. It literally looks like New Orleans, even though I've never been there. And look. They even had the horse tie-ups. No, and Neptune's Parade. This is just such a beautiful courtyard. The lobby's very nice. And this is the entrance to the pool area. Hello, Mr. Alligator. Playing the saxophone. The sassy alligator, look at him. Mm -hmm. And this guy's just laughing banging the trombones and like I said before we parked at Port Orleans because we're gonna go back over there later on to the River Roost to try out the Disney trivia inside the pub there where Yeehaw Bob usually plays but we wanted to take a boat over to the French Quarter maybe to get something to eat I might be interested in some jambalaya and I also hear they have alcohol filled beignets and look at this lobby so well themed I love it. These are a little bit of the restaurants and lounges that they have. They have the Sausagola Floatworks and Food Factory, the Mardi Gras Pool Bar, and of course, Scat Cats Club. Oh yeah, Scat. And this is one of the things we came for right here. The Baton Rouge Beignets. Three beignets jazzed up with your choice of Bailey's, Kalula, or Rum Chata for eight bucks. The Scat Club is so awesome, but this pretty much makes it even awesome. Wait, what's the song from? Mr. the Cat. Yeah. Everybody. Okay. That's what it is. Everybody. And other than good food and good drinks, they also have Yahtzee. Right here at the Scat Club, or the Scat Cat Club. They're setting up for live music here too. Taylor and Veronica are playing checkers. This is a classy establishment, man. Thank you. Here it is. It's Bailey's, Kahula, and Bailey's. Lemonade. Kahula and not lemonade, <laughs> rum chata. Oh, I thought that's what he said. Yes, yeah. rum chata. So we cut all of the beignets they came with three we cut them into four and we're all gonna try each type of them someone's definitely getting a all i chata. know is this one is rum chata. Rum, chata. rum chata this one's the one i'm looking forward to because i like rum chata okay would you hold the camera still and i'm guessing this one yeah, right here because it's a darker is kalula mm -hmm. and this one is the baileys here it comes i'm gonna go for kalula first oh taylor's going kalula which one's the kalula this one the yep. dark one Oh. Wait, which one's my right I'm going Kalula as well. This is the Bailey's Iron Cream one. That's really good. This one's the Bailey's. Wow. 
How was the Bailey's one? There's a guy there. I didn't get much Bailey's in that one. Those were That's mine. Oh. I'm black. Shoot. Right here? Taylor and Veronica are finishing up their checker game inside the Scat Club. Well, the Scat Cat Club. I feel like we can't get the name of that place right. So I headed on over into the float works to check out some of the food. Here it is. This is my favorite food, actually. Well, like not my favorite, like Disney food, like just my favorite type of food. Mickey-shaped beignets, jambalaya, Shrimp po boys, unbelievable. I love it. I love jambalaya. I kind of like spicy food, but not overwhelmingly spicy food. And I feel like the jambalaya here is just right on point. There it is. Served with some cornbread too. Yum. Yeah, and they got some very nice tarts. And there's those Mickey beignets that we were talking about before. Are they good? Mmm, I do love beignets. Look at all the beads hanging from the ceiling. Well, they're bead lights, actually. Usually, I couldn't resist the fact of getting the jambalaya, but I feel like we're in a little bit of a hurry because we do have to get back over to Port uh, Riverside to catch the trivia, so I'm gonna pass today. But any other day, jambalaya all the way. I skipped over to Jackson Square, which is kind of like the gift shop and, you know, sundries location where you can find stuff. Just take a peek in here. Look at this, they have Port Orleans pins here. This is the French Quarter one. These are $9.99 and they also have the Riverside one for sale over here. They found me. I came in here by myself just to show a little bit because I knew as soon as we got in here, Yip would want something. So We've been in here probably 45 seconds and she shouted out three things already. Oh my God. <laughs> so we are here and we need to get to here. And that is a hidden bombs? Mickey. Like I like walking down the path, like the walkways, like streets. Did you ever tell everybody how neat freaky I am? We decided to walk over because we're seeing smoke in the air. And where there's smoke, there's marshmallows. <laughs> this really looks like it used to be a pool at one time. Like look, it even has like a step down, doesn't it? It's like um, celebration. Yeah, like this looks that's like this. I feel like they, they filled in a pool. I, I'm sure that's not really what it was happening here, but it does look like a pool. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I promise. I promise. promise. That it? That is my marshmallow. My marshmallow catches on fire. Catches, catches on, on fire. fire. I will. I will blow it out. Blow it out like a birthday candle. Like, like a, a birthday, birthday candle. candle. We gotta see it. Beautiful. And for all of our friends. Thank you. Fire safety 101. Oh, thank you. Please let her know that these are not lightsabers. These are not lightsabers. We did the promise. You cannot hit people with these. <laughs> Don't get smoke in the camera or your eyes. Oh, blow it out right now. Thank you. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Good. I like my marshmallows burnt. I think a lot of people like they're just like a little brown, but mine, I, I like it charred. Thank you, Ben. I'm like, I'm like secretly just trying to look at the fire, and then I'm like, oh wait, I'm bombing your video. <laughs> Ooh, are you done? Is that yours? Hey. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Woo. Well, since we stopped and toasted marshmallows, we're gonna have to walk back to Port Orleans Riverside. Uh, which was well worth it because those marshmallows are great. But for the boat to catch, we'd have to go to Disney Springs and then back over to Riverside. So it might be quicker just to walk. We'll find out. Five minutes to get here by boat. Ten minutes to walk, you think? Here comes the boat. Quit walking. Look at that. Riverside. Hey, bad mood we put on the Moana soundtrack. French Quarter.
Okay, 10 minutes to get back. Five minute boat ride, about 10 minutes to walk back? Yeah, it was really quick. Yeah, it was very, very quick. And here we are for the river roost and for some good old Disney trivia. Trivia night from 8.30 to 10 and that also includes prizes. And it's free, don't cost any money. Just come in, get a table, and we got a big group with us. So we picked our team somebody. names. Because she had a meet and greet, I'm like, hey, who is The soggy <laughs> bottom boys and the odor girls. <laughs> Has begun. Now, first of all, we got a lot of friends. We ask that there be no questions in reply. Actress Audrey Hepburn was the inspiration for the look of which Disney princess? So, apparently, how this works, where you've already answered all of our questions, and you pass your slip to another table, and they grade it for you, and so far, we're doing pretty well. I think so. Hard work. The character who says that line? Tiana! Tiana! Woo, Tiana! That's my girl! Yeah! We got 12 right. 12 out of 15. And our team name is the Saggy Bottom Boys and the Glitter Girls. <laughs> Wait, did you bribe them? <laughs> oh boy. So Bob Ashley did our life in half of 407 Eats. So far, had 14 out of 15 oh, right. So I need at least one representative of each team to come forward right up here. Oh man! My team that had at least 14 out of 15. So now it's a tiebreaker between this table and this table. Oh, represent Mrs. Nesbitt! <laughs> All right, here we go. What is the name of the princess in the movie The Black Cauldron? I will give you that. The correct answer is Princess Alonwi. Yes. Oh, Miss Nesbitt. We have our winner right here. So one of these teams is going to show you what prizes are right here. So we're going to get you to choose one of our special activities. And also... All right, we're great in the second round, and it's all Marvel. All right, Marvel Cinematic three, Universe, three, and I think we got this. In the first Veronica just yelled the answer out to everyone. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think anyone was listening, so I think we're good. <laughs> so we haven't won a round yet. Not one round, right? But we've been close. We are two points away. We're doing really good, but some people are doing better. You're in my world now. You're the game. Stole the game. the game. Blame her. Blame her. Blame her. Cars who are sitting down here at the end of the table. But I think they still won overall for the end of the night. I think you guys might have I think you might have won the grand prize. Oh my God. 47? 47? Alright, so 47 has the top. Everything that we offer. Everything? You guys got a recreation coupon for everything here. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So our team won nothing but this life of ours, Bob and Ashley, and half of 407 Eats actually won the grand prize. They are the super champions of the night. <laughs> so congrats to them. Alright guys, well I think everyone's departing. Taylor, bye, you have to work in the morning so we'll see ya. And that's about it. A fun night. Yeah. What, they sell capes here. They sell capes here? Wait, yeah, keep going. Yes, yes, yes. 
So we left Trivia Night over at Port Orleans Riverside. Uh, it was a great night. It was 8.30 to 10 o'clock. We didn't win any of the rounds, but a couple of our friends did win, so we're happy for them. Uh, but we were there with Brian, and Brian said to us, I've never been to International Drive. And I was like, what? So then we decided to make that happen. And here we are. Right in the center, the Orlando Eye, right behind us, and the brand new Sky Coaster or Sky Tower right over there. So we're gonna hang out here a little bit and uh, partake in some of the festivities. And would you just look at that, the Orlando Eye. Beautiful down here. So many different restaurants, lounges, bars. It's just a great, great place. And you can just kind of hang out here in the grass and relax and just stare up. We're gonna head into probably our favorite place to hang out in the International Drive area, the Tin Roof. Look at this place. Pretty cool. Veronica got herself a Corona, and one of the coolest reasons why we like this bar is basically the view. Look at that. So they also put your shots inside of a medicine cup at the tin roof. That is pretty funny. Gotta take your medicine, Brian. Cheers. <laughs> Veronica and Brian are going over here to try to see if they're open to convince me to ride this. I am not sure about this. Alright, I guess they might have talked me into it. I'm going all the way up. Oh my lord, that's going to be us soon. So unfortunately, we can't bring the camera on because we don't have a wrist strap with us or a chest strap. So me and Veronica are still going to ride, but Brian's going to record it for us from below. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. All right, you're in Brian's hands now. We're going up. Do my best. I loved it. Did you love it? Um, yeah, Disney hmm. could do it better. Of course so. Disney could do it better. I'm sorry for the shaky video. Alcohol and holding a camera at dots in the air don't work. It was amazing though. I, and I'm sure it doesn't matter. It was still, it, it's not the point of getting film of it. It's the point of doing it. And it was amazing to me. And that'll do it for our night. Pretty wild, pretty crazy. French Quarter, Port Orleans, Riverside. The elevator is open. And then uh, Orlando Y. Tin roof rusted? Yeah, tin roof of craziness. So, love the life you live. She's dizzy. <laughs> and we'll see you it next was, time. It was Toodles. A good night. <laughs>